Omarosa Manigault Newman has never been one to shy away from controversy or telling us exactly what she believes. The well-known Apprentice contestant and former political aide to President Donald Trump has made quite a name for herself as a controversial media figure. In her 2018 book, Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House, she dished on the ins and outs of her experience with Trump in the White House, as well as the president's personal life. But Trump's legal team didn't care for the book. In fact, they tried to prevent its publication. In October of 2020, the Trump administration even went so far as to suggest that Omarosa use her own money to cover the cost of an almost $1 million ad campaign as a corrective remedy for her criticism of the president in her book and during television interviews. So Omarosa is no stranger to spilling Trump tea. And she's about to make the Trump administration unhappy again. In a recent October interview on the British morning talk show Lorraine, she touched on something a little more personal. Trump's marriage to Melania, and the point of view she established during the 17 years she's known the couple. She says that some of what she observed would, quote, make your head spin. It doesn't take an insider to deduce that the relationship between Trump and Melania has appeared to be a bit prickly. Melania has been seen on several separate occasions slapping or ripping her hand away from her husband, clearly disinterested in engaging in physical touch with him. Omarosa's comments on their marriage echo this body language, confessing what many already suspected was true. The former aide told Lorraine, It's a very strange marriage, and I'm very cautious to comment on the dynamics of people's marriage. You never know the inner workings, but I've known this couple since they were dating. In fact, they got married a year after The Apprentice aired. And what I've observed in the last 17 years would make your head spin a bit. Omarosa continued, commenting on the obvious tension between the two at the most recent presidential debate. Sometimes they like each other, and other times she's repulsed by him. As we saw just on the debate last Thursday, he went to go touch her hand, and she smacked it away. Omarosa happily assumed the villain role back in 2004 while she was on Trump's show The Apprentice. The reality show served as an emphatic introduction to the world of exactly who Omarosa is, and that she was clearly not someone to be messed with. In 2018, Kyle Swenson wrote in the Washington Post, Millions of viewers had come to expect theatricality from Manigal Newman, the once-nobody turned reality television villain who used her infamy in Trump's boardroom to jump into the highest rungs of American pop culture. Omarosa has a huge issue with power and us not accepting her ideas. With Omarosa, it's either her way or it's no way. Omarosa is allegedly a very difficult person to work with, according to a 2004 People magazine report on that topic, which quoted one former colleague calling her disruptive, while another reportedly, quote, wanted to slug her. It can't come as too much of a surprise that Omarosa doesn't think fondly of Trump, and he has never had many nice things to say about her either. Trump has been very publicly dismissive and rude towards Omarosa, calling her a dog with zero credibility, wacky, deranged, and a crazy lowlife. It appears, however, that Omarosa used to be friends with Trump during their apprentice days, but she believes he is no longer the same person he was back then. In 2018, she told The Hill he had become, quote, a monster, adding, Donald Trump is that friend that got a new job and became something else. The things that Donald Trump has done, the way he toys with race, the way he's trying to incite a race war, it is not funny. Unsurprisingly, Omarosa has no intention of voting for Trump in the upcoming election. She said on the reign that she believes Biden will win, and she supports his candidacy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.